You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Cooking in the kitchen. I hope you don't mind sitting with me. Not at all. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> you know, you are now a big city woman. I hope this uh, smoke from the firewood will not be disturbing you. No, I might be a city girl, but I haven't forgotten where I'm coming from. <laughs> hmm? This is my roots. Hmm? <laughs> 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 so tell me, my friend. How is school treating you? Mm, it wasn't easy at all. But I thank God for everything. <sighs> Guess what? What? You're talking to the latest graduate in town. <laughs> really? Yes. <sighs> this is good news. Yes. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Uh -uh. Done and dusted. This is cool. <laughs> This is really cool. I, it, you know, while I was in school, everywhere was just you see some of my friends. <laughs> they don't even know. Chiwayoma. <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you. I'm so impressed. Yeah? Thank you. So proud. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I didn't expect anything less from you because I know you have your father's brain. Oh, <laughs> I know you will say that. Yeah. Eh, when the child does well, the credit goes to the father. Uh, Ugochi, don't be like that. You know that my brother was an intelligent man. You know it. <laughs> if not for condition, I would have been a doctor today. Hey. Huh? Eh. A doctor? Uh -huh. Or how about list? <laughs> nah, doctor, doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, your uncle doctor is doctor. I bought mama. Don't worry now. Hmm? At least you have a daughter that will soon become a medical doctor. Uh -huh. You see, don't lose anything. That is my only consolation. That is my only consolation. <laughs> 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 okay. If your father was alive today. You would have witnessed this wonderful day with us. Look at you, don't worry. Wherever my brother is, I know he's happy. I know he's proud of his daughter. And if he has been alive, he will do everything possible to make sure the daughter acquires university education. And for that, whatever it will cost, Opportunity to complete her university education, I will take care of it. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Hmm. My husband. <laughs> thank you. You're such a good man. I love him now. You don't need to thank me. My brother loves me so much. I know. I, I love him too. He would have done the same thing for my children if it's the other way around. Thank you. <sighs> so, no, Thank you. Chinebo, always remember the good year it has always been. I've studied hard. I trust you. I know you will never do anything that will bring shame to this family. I won't. I won't answer that promise. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I'll keep my part. Just do your part. <sighs> 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 
cámara. <ríe> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I said I'm fine. You've been like this for days and you You go to nurse. Hmm? And you can't stand the smell of food. Eh? I can't do Oh. Okay. Um, uh, I God forbid. See a what? Ah, Mama, how can you say that? You, know? you can't say it like that. God better forbid. Okay, for He better forbid you because your education is at stake. I know what your uncle said. It's written all over you. Eh? The size of pregnancy is written all over you. You know, they can even us. Stand less than seen us. Mama, I said there's no need for that. I think you stand up. Hey, hey, oh, 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 Chidol, I'm disappointed in you. I saw you as a girl with a very high moral standard. Chinelo, how could you bring this type of shame into this family? I used to see you as a girl with high moral standard. I used you as an example to other children in this family on how best to behave. How could you break our trust this way? How? It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Children, it's a mistake. When you were busy pulling your clothes, spreading your legs, you didn't know that a mistake would bring you disgrace. Children, you are a disgrace. You see, you, I tried my best to train you well, and God will bear me witness. Okay, you will disgrace yourself and not me. Inolia, disgrace. They're called. I should have the shining light of this family. Can you imagine? How can you do this? This is your plan all the way to go to the university and be sleeping around with boys. No member of this family will enter the university with an unwanted pregnancy. We will not tolerate such a shame. So it's obvious whatever you thinking on your head, you are now on your own. And there is nothing I can do about that. The water you poured on yourself is what is making you cold. Oh, Uncle, please. Please don't leave me like this now. I am begging you. Don't do this to me. It was a mistake. Please. Please. Come on, that's my consistor. Mistake has consequences and you have to bear them. Uncle, please. Hey! Come on. Beg him for me. Beg for me. Just keep for yourself. If you didn't hear me along with you, Chinelu. If you didn't hear me along with you, where you disgrace. When you were busy spreading your legs. Am I wrong? You want me to beg your uncle? She didn't know you are a disgrace. I, I, I knew I trained you well, and God knows I did my best. She didn't know your father married me a virgin. Eh? I don't know who you resemble. Am I wrong? Mama, I don't know. Eh? See what you put upon yourself now. University, embassy. You want to stay? Oh, God. Eh? Hi. Hi. Yeah? By the way, who is responsible? Eh, Chinelu? Chinelu, who is responsible for this pregnancy? Oh, it's a go. Hi. Chinelu. 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 A penny for your thoughts. 
Nothing. Nothing. I'm actually very happy for you. Chinelu. I'm your very good friend. I know you're happy for me. But your tears says otherwise. Hmm? Come here. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? You got to run with you much, you are the boy. Are you mad? Eh? You are, don't, don't, don't. Don't leave me. It was just a mistake. Of course it is a mistake. No, what stupid mistake I'm asking you because you can never do anything good in your life. You can never do anything right. Did you see anywhere else to play football? Did you see it? I want Mama about this football. I want Mama about buying football for him. But Mama never listens to me. Ah, Mommy, I'm sorry. Once again, sorry, so long on. Sorry, kill you there. You are very stupid. Why are you telling me sorry? No, no, no. You are very stupid. She no, hey, no, 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 Stop it. Idiot. It was just a mistake. The, the boy played the boy at the wrong direction. You will not have to kill her. Of course, it is a mistake. Because. Everything about him is a mistake. Idiot! What? Fool! Uh, Nayo, come. Come. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Hmm? I got this for you. I wanted to give you before leaving. But right now, take it. Go inside. I'll talk to you later, okay? Go. Go. Chile, what has come over you? What is wrong with you? Why would you say all this in front of that little boy? That boy ruined my life. That boy made my life stand still. That boy shut up my dream. I can't believe after all these years, you're still holding on to your past. Why are you making it look as if it's this little boy's fault? Why won't you move on? Learn to let go! It is his fault. And how can I let go? When the one thing that reminds me of my past is always before me, staring at me every day. How can I let go? When the one thing that reminds me of my past is always before me, staring at me, day in, day out. How can I let go? When my, 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 my dreams of attaining greater heights is now a mirage. Now tell me, how can I let go? You're making it look as if it was Nayo's fault. None of these things was his fault. His coming into this world was as a result of circumstances. And nobody knows what the future holds in bulk. As long as oxygen and carbon dioxide still passes through your nostril. It is his fault. Don't even tell me otherwise. It is his fault. Look at you. A graduate. While I am here, a forgotten product of misery. It's so I had dreams. You know, I had dreams. You know how badly I wanted to go to school, study medicine, and become a medical doctor. It's so my, you, 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 you know how, how I burnt midnight candles. Studying, reading, day in, day out, researching every day just to make good grades in school. I would have succeeded if that boy did not come along. I mean, I don't even understand it. A lot of married couples are they are barren, looking for children. Why didn't he go to them? Why did he come to me? Did I ask for him? Why did he come to me? Chinelo, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I beg you. I beg you to let go. Let it go. You cannot continue to blame that innocent boy for a mistake of two people. Chinelo, he didn't choose to be born. 
And it was not his fault that the so-called father <laughs> abandoned him. <laughs> Please, let go. Move on. Eh? <laughs> it was not his fault that you opened your legs and got pregnant. Did you come here to mock me? Did you walk into this place to mock me? Chinelo, I am your friend. Chinelo, I love you so much and I can only tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. I can never mock you. Please, I beg you. Free your mind, it will do you nothing. It will not cost you anything. Move on. I should move on. I should just move on. Why are you saying this? As if you have not realized that there is no hope for me. There is no hope. No, Chinelo, come on. Come on. There is hope. Okay, don't talk like that. Mm, please. Listen, Chinelo, a friend of mine once told me that once there is life, there is hope. J just look at me. Didn't I fail jam three times? Mm? I failed jam. Well, look at me today, I'm a graduate. There's still hope for you. Well, please, I beg you. Stop all this thing. Hmm? Hmm. Please. <laughs> 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 It when you cry like this, eh? Do you want to talk about whatever it is? Failed jam does not mean that you're a failure. Eh? Why are you crying like this now? Like a jam. Do you know what that means? That I won't be going to school all of this year. You can apply for pre science now. Eh? Or better still, wait and write another jam next year. So, what will I be doing the whole of this year? You can learn a skill. My friend, you learn a skill now. See, this, this, this period, eh? skills come in handy. They are very important. There is always hope. You see that, my friend Chidi? He told me he wrote jam four times. Four good times. But now, he's doing his master's abroad. He only came back because of his father's ill health. Eh? So you see, just cheer up. As long as there is life. There is hope. 
So cheer up, my friend. There are plenty things for you to do. Uh-uh. You can't hey. believe I'm not the entry in university. Oh. But Udejan, but these damn people are wicked. <laughs> they are very heartless. I thought I had me raised you. It's okay. Eh? Don't kill yourself because of jam. Hmm? In fact, at this point, I advise you to hide this result. Because it's like this time you see it, you start crying. Just hide it so you won't be seeing it. But it's still my results now. Leave that thing as long as you're not seeing it now. Just cheer up. Hmm? Don't bring it out till you want to bath. No go. Eh? Listen, if you really, 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 really want to have that university experience, go and apply for percent. Go to percent. They treat everybody like undergraduate too. They go for lectures. Everything university people do, that is what they do. They have a friend that is there. Uh -uh. She's always telling me what is happening there. Who will go? Oh? Oh. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> you see, after feeling jam two times, look at me today. I am now a graduate. All I want to let you know is that you should not give up. Alright? Do not give up. All hope is not gone. It is too late. Just look at me. I am not getting any younger. And my uncle who wanted to sponsor my education has lost Faith in me. Sweetheart, it is never too late. Never. You can still go back to school and achieve your dreams. But first, you have to let yourself heal. <laughs> heal. It's, it's not as easy as you make it seem. I know. I know it's not easy. Nothing good comes easy. It's never going to be easy. But you have to take it first step. Do something. Hmm? Whatever happens, I am here for you. Look at me. I will never leave you. Okay? I will always stand by you. Hmm? I will never leave you. I will always stand by you. Okay? Hmm? Don't worry, stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Hmm? Ah, check what you're cooking before you get burned. Hmm? Don't worry. Oh. Wow. You know, the aroma is nice. What's the occasion? My mother is expecting a visitor. Oh, I see. Anyway, you need to add one more visitor. Because I'm here and I'll eat that food. <laughs> what you hope it will be now for me? Of course. Okay. I'll eat it. Hmm? That is us. Be focused in life. Mm -hmm. Very nice. But mm -hmm. it would have tasted better if she cooked with a happier continent. She always frowns as if she carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Gee> baby. <laughs> my countenance is my countenance. And not for you to worry about. Chinelo. Mama, don't worry. No. No, I understand. Chi baby. Babylistic baby, don't worry. Hmm? I am here now to help you carry your bodies. That's <laughs> Jason. Mm. Hmm? How do you intend to carry my burdens when it is very obvious that your own is weighing you down? <clears throat> See, uh, Chi. I'm just trying to make a joke to help you ease your stress, that's all. But your joke is not funny now. Eh? It is very dry. 
That is why we are not laughing. In fact, your joke is adding to my stress. Listen, let us cut the chase. I know why you are here. And let me tell you, whatever it is that brought you to this place, you have failed. It will not work. So any arrangement you have with my mother, I am not a part of it, oh. I am not a part of it at all. I will never, ever in this life, even in the next life, be interested in you. Umuikime. Never! Ask her on my wife again. Chidero, Chidero, go back here. Chidero, go back here. And the word of advice. Next time, when you plan to go to someone's house, do those people a favor and save their noses by taking a pass. Mm. Oh. Then spray perfume. Roll on, deodorant. You can even get the cheap, cheap cheapest ones in our summer markets. Oh, yeah, I need to fool her. Where are you going to go? You're on two. Oh, she is. 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 Because now, hey, Mama, I call GM up. Thank you for the food. Now, Mama, I call GM up. Then they pull it. Let me go Oh me, oh me. Now, 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 dear, dear. Hey, oh. Because don't be offended. See, Mama. Because... Mama, listen. It is clear that your daughter doesn't love me. And it's not possible for a home me to keep on pursuing something that will never be. Eh? Okay, the fact they go to my nadron can we get out now? Take any now. Oh, when you Biko, oh, don't be offended. Biko, oh, be Adriana, she's not in a good mood. Eh, uh, Biko. Mama, uh, I have tried. Akwani gum, I have tried. See, eh? You see that your daughter, I wish her good luck. I'm asking why I food you okay the camera. Look at it, look at it. I'm not watching. Look at it now. Piano no. Hey, when you were because piano. Chinelo, chinelo, I'm gonna come there. You can't see the talent. Eh? This is Mama. This is Mama. This is Mama. Talk to your friend. This is talk to your friend now. Since she has lost the opportunity of going to school, she also wants to lose the opportunity of getting married, considering her condition. Mama, don't worry, eh? I'll talk to her. She'll have a rethink, okay? Don't worry yourself. I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid, though. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. She will come around and definitely marry a husband that will bring back the joy of this family. Hmm? I know that's what you want. Relax your mind. Hmm? Talk to her. No problem. Talk to her. <laughs> Let me be on my way. Talk to her. I will. Talk to her. Bye, Mama. Chinelo! Chinelo! What was the meaning of that? What was the meaning of what? Don't answer my question with question. You know what I'm talking about. He has body odor. Uh uh. Mama, who is he fool? I can't believe you, you. You are so desperate for me to get married that you you overlooked that fact. They're going to perceive it. Either you see it. You find fault in every man that comes to seek for a hand in marriage. Am I the reason you didn't go to school, Chinem? Eh? Um, I'm not the cause. Uh, Mama. Please. Don't go there. Don't go there. No. I will go there. Since you brought it up. Eh? Blaming everyone except yourself. What is your problem? What do you expect? A patalon car rose in Gulep put you all in it. And a patalon car rose in you. Okay. Mama, I have heard. 
I have heard you. Don't come and remind me of my problems. Please, I, I did not say anything, no. But you implied it. Chinelu, it's high time you came back from that high place to place yourself and face reality. A woman is like a flower, fresh and beautiful in the morning. But with us in the evening, time is running out. Okay, now I got you, I got you. The earlier you get married, the better for you. I need grandchildren. Chinelu, what were you expecting? Eh? If you open your hands to receive gifts from men, also open your legs, you know, yeah? to receive anything they give you. Tinelu, time is running out. Oh God, The earlier you get married, the better for you. I need grandchildren. Okay, Nolia? Yeah? Grandchildren. Legitimate ones. Oh, oh, oh. Your father. You think that you are I'm not going again. I'm not going again. Your money has expired. How can we identify this location so we can walk, at least walk. get to where we are going to? Get, get to where? Fast! Walk fast before I remove these ears that you don't hear. Stop. stop! Come on, stop it! Can't you see you're hurting the boys? Okay. Can't you see you're hurting the boys? How is it your business? How is it your business? I'm asking you. It is none of your business how I treat my son, no? Oh, he's your son? And you're treating him that way? Yes! He is my son. And I will treat him however I want without you interfering. Well, ma'am, the fact that he's your son don't give you the right to abuse him like that. Chimo! Chero, come! Who do you think you are? Well, my name is Anastasia Suko. I am a lawyer and an activist. And I can sue you for physically abusing this poor child and inflicting pain on him. <laughs> oh, you are a lawyer. Nyaki Jeko. Yeah? Stressing the lawyer part as if it's something very important. Ngano, Madam Lawyer, you are going to sue me for disciplining my own son. No, Madam Lawyer, I'm asking you. You will sue me for disciplining my own this son. This is not about discipline, that's torture. Listen, I can see that you are one of those educated people who think that they are better than everyone else. Walking around. Hanging their shoulders as if their shits don't smell. Poking their noses into other people's businesses. But madam, listen, oh. Whoever you think you are, stay away from my business. Madam, remove your nose from my business. Don't say I did not want you. And don't say I didn't do anything good for you in this life. Wow. Try me. He is my son. Yeah. I can do to him. I can not If I, I can even cook him. Hey, Brenda, come back. I've not finished the demonstration. Hey, Brenda, look at him. I am doing what? Hey, hey, you are right. Come, come, come back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be so 
City girl, but I haven't forgotten where I'm coming from. Mm? <laughs> this is my roots. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> ha! So tell me, my friend, how is school treating you? Mm, it wasn't easy at all, but I thank God for everything. <sighs> Guess what? What? You're talking to the latest graduate in town. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> this is good news. Yes. Yes. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Uh -uh. Done and dusted. This is cool. <laughs>
kill you. Do you hear me? That mistake will kill you, you evil child, sent from the pit of hell to torment my life. Why would you not make a mistake? When everything about you from head to your toe is a mistake. The only place and the only way you know how to do mistake is to destroy my things in this house. But you will not make mistake and die. Idiot! Come on, girl. Give 